Hello, thank you for being here. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, I am making meatloaf. Now, Juliet Smith in Barbados asked me to make meatloaf. So Juliet, today we're making meatloaf. This meatloaf is not just any old meatloaf. This is a specialty meatloaf. This is one that my daughter kind of created and she's been making it for a while and she loves and we love it when she makes it because it's really good. So I asked for permission to uh, make this recipe for you today. So today I want you to come along with me while I make meatloaf. I like to make mashed potatoes with my meatloaf. To me those two go together. I also will be making some mixed vegetables. So I want you to be able to join me while I make that. So, so to get started, I have here, this is four pounds, this is three pounds of ground turkey. Now I chose ground turkey, but you are welcome to choose ground beef, whatever you prefer. I, my preference is ground turkey, so I'm making turkey. So I'm gonna put my turkey aside, and over here I have some vegetables. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saute my vegetables first, and then add my vegetables to my turkey. So come over here to the kitchen, so I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. To get started, I have in here um, one tablespoon of olive oil and one tablespoon of butter. I have in here. So this is um, one whole pot of garlic. I'm going to add to that. I'm cooking it. I don't want it to cook too much. I just want to bring the flavors out a little bit. In here, that is um, one large onion. I have in here one, um, two celery sticks. I have in here one whole red pepper. I'm gonna just going to add a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of salt to that. I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. A little bit of salt. Sure. So I should say that half a teaspoon of black pepper and half a teaspoon of salt. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it sit here for a few minutes and just saute. I'm not um, cooking them too soft. I just want it to be a little bit translucent. Okay, so let's get started. Over here I have my onions and peppers and so on that um, I just sauteed. I have my meat here so now I'm going to add some ingredients to my meat. So over here I have two scallions chopped up. I'm just going to add that in there. And now I have here, I have one tablespoon of parsley. This is one tablespoon of all purpose seasoning. I have half a, table, half a teaspoon of oregano half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of chopped peppers, and um, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. So I'm just gonna pour that all in there like that. Here I have one tablespoon, this is two tablespoons actually, of Rochester sauce. I'm just gonna pour that in there. And I have one tablespoon soy sauce. Put that in there. Over here is one cup of breadcrumbs. I'm just going to sprinkle that in there. And I have two eggs here. I have two eggs which I will beat a little bit. And I'm going to just pour that in there. Over here, I have a little bit of turmeric, and this is because I just like to add turmeric to everything because I know it's good for you. It also changes the color a little bit, but I just add a little bit to that. And I'm going to add a little bit of mustard. 
this is probably about a tablespoon of mustard and I have over here a quarter cup of ketchup ketchup put that in there and now I'm gonna go in with my hand and just combine everything together And when you combine everything together, you don't want to mix it up. You want to mix it up, but just come from the bottom. Because you don't want your meat to dry out. And if you overwork the meat, then when you put it in the um, oven and it's cooking, it'll probably be a little bit dry. So we don't want to overwork the meat, but we're just going to come from the bottom and just mix everything up together nicely. Now, once I mix that in well, what I'm going to do is take my peppers here, which is going to give it a little bit of color that's translucent with all that butter and oil and so on that's in there, and just empty that inside there. Turn my stove on. Turn your stove on to 350, and now you're going to mix this in. Mix it in well. Looks good, doesn't it? I like to see the peppers and so on because it makes it look very colorful. Okay, I think this is about good right here. And this is my meatloaf, Miss Juliet Smith. I should say this is Amanda's meatloaf, Miss Juliet Smith. Okay, guys, so here I have my pan and I have some cut right paper inside of it. This is where I'm gonna put my meatloaf. So now, don't that look pretty, guys? Yeah, okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this. Okay guys, so first we do one layer like this. And then what I do is I have, this is where my little twists come in. I have some cheese. This is optional guys, you don't have to do this. But I just like to cut and have a little cheese in the center. So I just put some cheese there. You can use any cheese of your preference. This is cheddar cheese. Cause I just happen to like cheddar cheese and they have a whole block so I figured I'll just use some because they always do so just put a little bit of cheddar cheese like that I don't want to add it a little bit and then you're gonna go for your rest of your meatloaf and just pile it on top of there And this is gonna serve right today. My kids are here today, so this is gonna serve four people. And um, this is gonna be plenty left over for the next day, cause this is a lot of meat right here. And let me show you what I'm gonna do next. So now I have over here my little leftover um, cheese. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this on the top like that. Kinda like that little cheesy. And as I said, this is optional. You do not have to do this to add cheese to it, but I just like the little cheese. So this is my little twist to that. And then I have here half a cup of brown sugar. I have one cup of ketchup, so I'm going to add my ketchup here to the sugar. Mix these two up together. I mix the brown sugar and the ketchup together. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to layer this a little bit.
and I'm going to put this in the oven and this is going to stay in the oven for approximately one hour. I have a thermometer. I'm going to check it when it comes out to make sure that it's cooked. For one, I will be putting this in the oven at 350 for one hour. And as soon as it's finished, I'll come back and show you the finished results. Guys, I forgot to mention this. When I put my meatloaf in, I like to put a pan of water. And what happens is the water, the steam from the water rises and it helps to keep the meat moist because you don't want your meat to dry out. So you put a pan with some cold water, with some water in the oven and that's what I'm about to do. So here I'm starting to cut up some zucchini so I can make some vegetables. I already have my potatoes on to make my mashed potatoes. But I'm going to do some zucchini. I think today would just be zucchini and cabbage. Those two vegetables I'll do together. So my zucchini is cut up. Now I'm going to start on my cabbage. Now I'm cutting up my cabbage to go along with my zucchini. And I like to just shred my cabbage like this because I don't like it too big. And I think it's nicer when it's shredded like that. So that's how I like to shred it. So I put these in here with the zucchini. Now I'm just going to shred some onions. And this onion I'm going to put with the cabbage and the zucchini. I saute this all together. I'm using half a pepper and I'm just going to slice the pepper down like that and then just, just slice it up like that. So now I'm going to saute all of this. So come over to the stove so I can show you how I saute my vegetables. Oops, careful. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of butter in there. I have a tablespoon of olive oil. Pan is a little hot. And I'm gonna go in with my vegetables. I lower the stove because I don't want it to be too hot. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt. I would say about a teaspoon of salt. And about a teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm gonna put a little bit of all purple seasoning and that's it. I don't need too much in there. And just mix it all up, stir it up while well. And I'm going to put a little bit of soy sauce on here, just a little bit. And just let it sit here. Put a cover on it. And let it just sit here. Maybe about a teaspoon. Or maybe that's a tablespoon. And that's it. That's it. Nothing else needs to be added to this. Just a cover on it. I let it stay here and steam and that's it. Hey guys, I took I just took the meatloaf out of the oven. I tested it and it's it's need like another 10 minutes. It was in there for one hour to be exact. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna baste it again. I'm putting it back in there for maybe like another 10 minutes and then take it out and then that would be it. So I'm just gonna give it one more baste. See, it looks good, guys. And I have my water, which is still in there. The steam from the water also helps to keep it nice and moist. Okay. So I'm going to put this in for maybe about another 10 minutes, and then I'll take it out. Okay, guys. Um, the meat is finished. I checked the thermometer. It's 160. The temperature on the inside is 160, so it is all done. 
just took it out of the oven i left it in there for um because this is a lot of meat so i had to leave it a little bit longer so it took about an hour and 20 minutes so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes and cool because in order to cut it you need to let it cool before you cut it that way it doesn't fall apart so I'll let it sit for a few minutes and cool and then i'll put it together and i'll come back and show you okay guys so the meatloaf is all done right here it looks delicious so what i did is i took it out i cooked this for an hour and 20 minutes I took it out I left it sitting for a few minutes to cool so it is well it's a little bit cool but it's still a little bit hot it's not cool completely but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and hopefully it doesn't fall apart looks good guys and it smells just as good as it looks wonderful so now let me put my mashed potatoes and my vegetables on my plate so I can show you on my plate I have some mashed potatoes I have some mashed potatoes my vegetable is cabbage and um, a zucchini with some peppers and onions on that I did not make any brown any gravy for the potatoes the potatoes have when I made it, the potatoes have butter and milk and it has a lot of seasonings inside of it so I'm not gonna make gravy for that I like it like that so now let me just get a piece of meat here Oops. Falling apart. So guys, this is my dinner for the evening. It's a big meatloaf. And um, I have my meatloaf, my mashed potatoes, and my mixed vegetables. So I am going to try the meatloaf for you. Juliet Smith in Barbados. I am going to try the meatloaf for you. Wish you were here to try it, but I'll try it for you. Now, I've just died and gone to heaven. That is so good. That tastes delicious. I am telling you, you have to give this a try. It is good. It is so good. I got to take another bite. I with my mashed potatoes. That is good. It is nice and it's creamy. Guys, try the turkey. The turkey is really good. It's nice and it's soft. It tastes delicious. Guys, I hope you can make this for your family. I enjoy making this for my family. I hope you get to like, share, and subscribe. If you have a friend that need to know how to, that would like to know how to make meatloaf just share it with your friend until next time bye bye